Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of Let's Build a Military Airbase in Minecraft. Now, in our previous video, we built the hangar base for the AC-130 and in this one, instead of building one hangar bay, we are gonna work on two of them which will accommodate our A tanks. But these hangar bays are the perfect size to accommodate any fighter class aircraft in MC Heavy. Now you will notice that the ceiling of both these hangar bays are different. So yeah, the base of the hangars are the same, but the ceiling pattern is different. That's why we are gonna build two of them. So we have a total of three hangar bays on our airbase. So yeah, without any further ado guys, let's get straight into it. So the blocks we need in order to build the hangar base are concrete road, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone slab, dark tarmac road, white thick single line paint and letter X paint. The same blocks that we used to build the AC-130 hangar. Now cut out a temporary opening in one of the sides of the AC-130 hangar. This is the side with, on which you want to build the other two hangars and come to the last block of concrete road. So as this is the last block of concrete road, count down exactly 25 blocks. So here's 25 and then on the 26th block place down another concrete road. So we are going to leave basically a total of 25 block gap between the platforms where our airplane would sit. So break this block and place down a concrete road block. Now from this concrete road block, we need to build a rectangle which is 25 blocks in width and it's 35 long in length. So first, let's build it 25 across. There we go. So from point 1 to point 2 here, we have a total of 25 concrete rods and then stack it 34 more times so that you have a total of 35 long rectangles. There we go. So this is the platform on which our A10 is gonna sit and we are going to build our hangar around it. There we go. So now we have a 25 by 35 rectangle. Now once again build one more 25 by 35 rectangle after leaving a 25 block gap in between as we need to build two hangar bays. I seem to have found my point. So just quickly turn it into a 25 by 35 rectangle. Okay, so now we have two platforms to work on. So first things first, let's find the middle point of this platform of concrete road which is on the 13th block and on the 13th block start placing white thick single line paint after every alternate block. And this line should divide the hangar bay in exactly two equal halves. So 12 blocks in here and 12 blocks in there. Okay. Now from the 12th block in the starting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Place down a letter X marking. And on this letter X we are going to place our A10. And that should leave ample of space on each and every side of this airplane. There we go. Now let's start working on the door of the hangar bay. So take your stone bricks and come 6 up. Then from the first block 9 across. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And then a total of 4 up. 2, 3 and 4. Let's do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now just connect the two of these. So this is the door pattern that we are gonna go with for both the hangar bays. So leave a one block space in the front that is and build the similar pattern again. And once you are done with that, do the same on the back side of the hangar as well.
and here we go after building this once again just double check the size and i'm gonna use world edit for that so six high in total then from the first block a total of nine across and four high in total okay okay and this pattern is repeated on the other hanger platform as well so after building this place down four more blocks behind it so you make it total five blocks and do that on all the sides one two three and four and connect it these columns are gonna be used to accommodate our hanger door and after placing them start building them up like this but make sure that you leave the gap in middle there is no need to fill the gap as we are gonna place iron blocks as door in there now build all the other portions in a similar fashion And there we go so after completing the doors like this connect the very end blocks using stone bricks in order to make the wall of the hanger i'm just gonna use wall edit for that so one wall on this side and another wall on the other side as well okay now final piece for this base we need to place pillars on the very end so come diagonally out and make a six high pillar now from the six high pillar leave six blocks in middle and on the seventh block place down another pillar and seven now again leave six blocks and on the seventh place a pillar and repeat this process until you reach the very end of the hanger if you did this correctly you should be on the other diagonal end of the hanger Now that's one side done, let's do the same for the other side as well. Okay, so with this we have completed one of our hanger bay, the base of it anyway. Now repeat the same process for the other hanger bay as well. okay so both of the hanger bays are now complete and now it's time to start working on the different ceiling patterns that we are going to make for them so for this use any temporary block that you want to i'm going to go with wool and with wool you will also need stone slabs so for our first hanger bay we are going to go with the design which is much more steep in its slope not the gradual slope like the ac 130 so place down three wool blocks like this and then come up by one three again come up by one and three again and repeat this pattern until you reach the very middle of the hanger bay and stop now let's do the same on the other side as well so one two and three now start coming up by one on this side as well And now just connect both of them by raising them one up in the middle three so this is an equal slope on both the sides and it's much more steep than the one that we are going to build on the other hang of it now with this done place stone slabs in front of all these temporary blocks and then get rid of them Now as we have the overhang of one in front of this pillar like this, we are going to extend this entire roof pattern 
to the very back until it has overhang of one in the end as well. So extend it all the way to the back like this. So our hanger is total 43 long. That is why our roof is going to be 45 long in order to have an overhang of one block. So I'm gonna stack this entire pattern by 44 more times. That's one side done. Let's do the same on the other side. And the middle pattern. And with this, our first roof is completed. Now, if we take a look at the back side here, it is having an overhang of one block. That is how it should be. Now, let's work on the other roof. So, for this, we are going to come out three blocks and we are going to make it a similar pattern as the AC130. So, let me break this again. So, place your first block here and then come out two blocks. So that's a total of three and then start raising it up by one like this. Now repeat this process until you reach the top portion, the top flat portion of the hanger two and three. Now once you reach here, just raise it by one and leave it there. And then let's repeat the same process on the other side. Two and three. and raise it up by one now just connect these two blocks so this will have a much more gradual slope compared to our first angle now the process for this is the same as well place stone slabs in front of it and after placing stone slabs extend them all the way back to the hanger all the way to the back of the hanger saw And both of the roofs are finally completed. So this roof will also have an overhang of one on the front and back, but on the side it will have an overhang of two. On the contrary, the first roof that we will will only have an overhang of one block. Now after placing the roofs, it's time to start filling them up. Now this process is going to be same for both the hanger bays. Just connect these uh, doors until they start touching the roof without actually filling up the space that we'll have left in the middle. So raise all the door blocks until they are touching the roof and make sure that you don't fill up the middle section as our door is gonna go there. And once you are completed, take a good look. And in a similar fashion, complete the other two doors as well. So I have finally completed both the hanger base and filled all of these blocks, connected the roofs and the doors. So now it's time to start working on some details. So I'm simply gonna go with stairs, place down stairs between all the pillars. And yeah, you also need to place down upside down stairs on all the ceiling, ceiling blocks as well. So upside down stairs here and in the similar way, we are gonna do the other hanger as well. Now in this detailing part, you can be as creative as you want to. Yeah. Once the hanger is made like we have made here, the detailing is actually up to you guys. You can go with whatever pattern you would like to put. I just like to keep it simple and neat looking. So let's do the same for the other hanger. And after completing that, finally, let's remove the sand blocks 
and build a tarmac block. So I'm gonna go with the dark tarmac block and remove all the sand blocks between the hangar yeah there we go and in a similar way let's do all the remaining sides for both the hangar one done and one more to go now as i told you guys i am gonna place the eight ends in here but you can go with any fighter aircraft that you want to this hangar is actually a perfect size for that. So finally with the tarmac done, there is only one thing that's left to do and that is the light. Now once again, you can get as creative with lights as you want. I'm just gonna show you guys a simple pattern here. Oh yeah, before we get to lighting, don't forget to place the iron doors in here. And yeah, cover all the doors you will basically have to place eight rows of iron bars iron blocks like this there we go now let's cover a lighting bar so for lighting I'm gonna use glowstone and cobblestone ball. So on to the first hangar where we have the extreme slope. Come two down from the ceiling. So this is a general thumb of rule for lighting. Come two down from the ceiling on the middle block and place down a light. And do the same for all the other ceiling walls. So come two down from the center block and place down a glowstone. A glowstone and do this on both the sides. Here we go. After placing these first blocks like this, start placing these glowstone blocks or in an alternating pattern. So leave a one block gap and then place down another glowstone and repeat this process until you reach the very end of the hangar. Now repeat the same process for the entire hangar and connect these glowstone blocks with cobblestone walls and the seal. Look how good that looks. Now we are gonna do a similar thing for the other hangar. On the center block, place down a glowstone block, leaving a two block gap and yeah, connect them up with the ceiling in an alternating pattern. So yeah guys that was all I had for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Peace out my guys. Stay safe.